Hello everyone. In this video, let's discuss the structure of a Java program. So here, the Java program starts with a keyword called import. Import is a keyword. It is used to import the packages to this particular program. So here, all the sub packages are present in the main package called Java. So I am importing the Java package to this program. After this dot operator, here I am going to import the sub packages which is present inside the Java packages. So inside the Java package, we have the sub packages like AWT, IO, Util. So we have n numbers of packages. I am going to import the Util package. So here inside the Util package, we have n number of classes. When I give star, it imports all the classes which is present inside the Util package. See here. If I give dot, you can see all the classes which is available inside the util package. Here, if you want to import any specific class, you can mention that class. For example, to get the input, I am going to import a scanner class. So you can click scanner, which means to this particular program, I am importing only the scanner class from the util package. Okay. In case, if you want to import all the classes, at the point of time, you can give star. Star helps us to import all the packages to the program. So in C language, we are including the header files, right? Similar to this Java program, we are importing the packages. Next to this, we have to start with the keyword called class. We have to give the class name. I'm going to give the class name as main. Then click enter and then give curly braces. Okay. So I have imported the packages to my class and then I have given the class name next to which we have to give the main method. So here the syntax for the main method is public static void main string args. So this is the syntax of the main method. So here public states the access specifier so it can be used anywhere in the program in java we have four access specifier public private protected and default if you are giving it as public you can access anywhere in the program static static is a modifier so what is the use of static keyword in the sense it helps to call anyone without the help of object it helps to call this method without the help of object so here the execution of the program always starts from the main method. So who is calling the main method? JVM is calling the main method. Java virtual machine will be calling the main method. So if you are calling some member inside a class, you have to call them only with the help of an object. So if you want to call some member without the help of an object, that should be a static member. Here, JVM will call this method without the help of an object. How come it can call this method without the help of an object? Because this method is static. That is why the main method is static. Next to void. Void is a return type. So this method doesn't return anything because JVM is calling this method. Then if it has to return something, right? For that, if you are giving the return type as void, you don't want to return anything to JVM. Then main. Main is the method name. Then string args. This we call it as command line arguments what is the use of command line arguments to get the input during the runtime of the program that is during the execution of the program if you are getting the input well during the execution of the program the first input will be stored in args of zero args because the variable name i have given as args you can give any variable name but the data type should be string so here in java we don't call string as a data type here we call it as a class so first input whatever you are giving during the execution of the program that will be stored in args of 0 because the index value of an array always starts with 0. The next input will be stored in args of 1, arg of 2 and it goes on like this. So this is called as command line arguments. It helps us to get the input value during the execution of the program. Whatever the input either if it is an integer value, character value, whatever it might be or float value, it will be considered only as a string data type when you are getting the input value in the command line arguments. So this is the syntax of the main method. Now I just need to print something. I just need to print a hello world. So if you want to print hello world, we have to use system.out.println. 
print ln maybe i can explain step by step so system is a class system is a class it is present inside the package called lang so here when i mention import java inside java package we have n numbers of packages so out of which util lang io there are n number awd there are n numbers of packages so here similar to that the system is a class which is present inside a lang package here i have not called that particular package why because the lang package by default it will be imported to any java program so here you can give like this info java dot lang dot star you can give like this or it is not necessary because by default the lang packages will be imported in my program so i'll just comment here so that we can get to know whether it is being imported by default or not so it is system is a class which is present inside the lang package now out see out is a static object okay of type a print stream because i need to print the output to the console so it is a static object of type print stream then i am going to access a method i am going to call a method the method we are going to have is print so what is the use of print it is going to print it to the output console for example i am going to give hello world so it will be printed to the console that's all so let's save the code and let's run the code now see i have got the output as hello world so this is the structure of a java program i'll recall it once import is a keyword which is used to import the packages to the program java is the main package so i am going to import java package from java package i am going to insert util and then i am going to give dot i am going to give star so, so here we have got an error right so here the error is the thing but a warning i can say not error because we have got yellow color i am not using anywhere util inside the program that is why it was showing an warning now it is not showing any warning let's run the code now see i have got hello world why because i am not using any uh, classes which is present inside the util package that is why i was showing i was getting a warning so for this particular program i just need only lang package because we are using system dot out so system is present inside lang see java dot lang dot system java is the main package and then inside java we have sub package called lang inside the class we have it is system so here lang package will be imported to the program by default that is why it was not showing an error saying that we have not imported lang package so when i run this code also it will be executed i have got the output as hello world so util package helps us when we get the input value from the user that will be discussing in the upcoming sessions so now we are clear with the structure of a java program here you have seen system dot out dot print we have one more method called system dot out dot print ln and then i'm going to give hello world so what is the use of system dot out dot print ln in the sense here i'll tell you what is the difference of these two so when i execute the code hello world it gets printed and the next to hello world will get continued okay but when i say system dot out dot print ln ln states that new line so once after printing this hello world it will go to the next line for example uh, i'll give hello world one more time okay so here let us not give ln i'll just give print so here when you see this code system dot out dot print will print hello world then system dot out dot print ln will print the hello world so here it will continue printing the hello world because after this hello world i am not doing anything so it gets continued and it print hello world after printing the hello world it will go for new line because i have given system dot out dot print ln it will go for new line so once after going to the new line again i'll print hello world let's run this code see hello world system dot out dot print will print this after that nothing is happening so it will continue printing the statement called hello world i have given system dot out dot print ln so once after printing this i'll go to new line and then i'll print hello world so this is the difference between system dot out dot print and system dot out dot print ln along with this we have one more thing called printf system dot out dot printf so this we call it as formatted statement so here 
in string a r g of 0 a r g of 1 which is nothing but here first we have to give the formal specifier and then i need to give the variable for example i can give percentage d comma i'm going to print an integer value right so i'll give it as 43 so here you can take a variable for example in the variable i'm going to give int a equal to 43 okay now i want to print the value of a that's all so the variable a is having a value called 43 here it is a formatted print statement which is nothing but i am going to print the integer value for that i have to mention the format specifier let's run the code now similar to uh, the c language print of how we'll give so i'll give new line in the previous statement so that we can get to know the difference see here i have got 43 so here uh, for our understanding better understanding let me take a float value now so float f is equal to 34.3254 i'll take four digits and i'll give f f says that this is a floating point value now in the format statement if i want to print integer i have to give format specifier as percentage d if i want to print a float value i have to give the format specifier as percentage f so that's all let's run the code now see here it gets printed with six digits two three five four zero one because floating point value will have exactly six digits okay now i don't want to print those six digits instead i want to print only two digits at that point of time i can give point two f when i give point two f after decimal point i'll print only two digits see here 34.24 so 34.23 and 5 has been round off and it has been considered as 4 so 34.24 i have got this so this is the purpose of the printed uh, formatted print statement okay printf so if you want to format any data that needs to be printed you can use printf these are all the three statements we have to print the output to the console one is system.out.print system.out.println another one is system.out.printf okay that's all now we are clear with the structure of a java program.